So we'll start with our warm up and then we'll maybe do a little upper body, maybe a little hip, I don't know, we'll find out. So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips nice and open, shoulders back and down. Get everything stacked in your spine, core activated. So bottom ribs towards your spine and up towards your heart. So that core is supporting your spine. Arms relaxed, crown to the ceiling. Just take a few moments to breathe, focusing inward. And then arms out to the sides, stretch through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, stretch way forward, keep your shoulders down. And then bring your hands behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and pivot over as you exhale. So just deepen into that forward pivot, folding deep, ribs towards your thighs, tuck in your chin. Bring your hands toward your head. And then with your chin in, wind your way up and lift your heart. So nice upper body back. We want that spine moving a lot. Take a couple of breaths, lifting the chest. And then inhale, coming up and release your arms. So feel your spine, feel your body, a little more circulation warming you up. And again, arms out. Hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands behind the opposite way as you lift your heart. Stretch through the top of your head, and again, just pivot over and relax. Spread your toes, kind of bend your knees a little bit, or lift your sitting bones and straighten the back of your legs more. Your choice. And again, when you're ready, lift the ribs, drop the sitting bones, unwind, and lift your heart. So stretch back through the top of your head, keep those shoulders down, away from your ears, and breathe. And then inhale up, release your arms, take a moment feeling what's going on internally, noticing how your body is working. Arms out. Palms toward the ceiling, arms above your shoulders, and clasp your hands. Bring your arms back by your ears, shoulders and shoulder blades down, sitting arms down, stretch up, no twisting, just lean over to the side, lateral motion. Push the foot you're leaning away from down a little bit more. Reach out through your head and your fingers. Ribs opening, feel that stretch along your side. And then inhale back to the center. <clears throat> Switch the other arm in front. And again, pull those arms back by your ears and stretch. No twisting, don't lean that shoulder forward, just lean to the side. Stretch it out with the foot down and the hands reaching away. Take a moment to breathe. And then again, inhale to the top. Exhale and release. And again, feel those ribs a little bit more open. And we'll do our twist. Arms out, palms up, arms over your shoulders. Clasp your elbows and pull them back near your ears. Spread your toes and stretch sitting bones down, crown high, and move into your twist. Lengthen as you breathe in and pivot as you exhale. So come into that forward bend with the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. Take a moment, just relaxing. And then as you breathe in, come on up, staying in your twist and looking toward the ceiling. So upper body back bend, remember never too much in that lower back when you're twisted. And then after a couple of breaths, come on up and turn to the center, switching your arms around. Pull your arms again near your ears, stretch your spine apart, and exhale to twist the other. Another breath, and on the exhalation, come on up. As you deepen down, come into your weight evenly on both feet, and relax. And then inhaling, slowly work your way back up. And again, heart high as you come to that upper body for the back. Reach your elbows back, head back, 
chest high. And then inhale upright and come around to the center. Keep your shoulders down and raise your fingertips high. And then pivot at your hips and come forward. See if you can get parallel to the floor with the sitting bones opposite from your head and your fingertips. And then just drop down into ragdoll and hang. Take a long breathing. Bring your hands behind your legs and pull in a little bit more for a good stretch. And then arms back to the front. And wind one more time. Slowly up, shoulders back and down. And into mountain pose. Just feel that upper body nicely activated. Spine stretched a little bit more open. And take a moment to focus on your breath and your body. Let's go to a wall or a door and standing in front of it, put your hands right in front of your shoulders and then move them up the length of your hand higher than right in front of your shoulders. Take a good step back, push your sitting bones back so your hips are over your ankles, palms pressing into the wall and reach the top of your head up towards your hands and then let your heart chest drop down toward the floor. So a nice back bend, especially in that upper back. And just keep sinking down with the heart, pushing back with the sitting bones and up with the crown. And just let that whole upper chest area really get a nice opening across the heart and the armpits. And then tuck in your chin and take a step back toward the wall. And release your arms. And then step closer to the wall and put one arm up. And then turn and look over that shoulder of the arm that's up. And then look up toward the ceiling. So both shoulders should be about even toward the wall. And then you're just turning your head toward the arm that's up and turning your head toward that shoulder and then a little bit higher up toward the ceiling. And then chin back down and face the wall and release that arm. And we'll do the other side, same thing. So arm up, turn your head toward that arm and then look up toward the ceiling. So only as much or as little as your neck and your body wants to do. Take a breath, just relax. Lift inside and slightly up. And then chin back down, turn your face to the wall and release that arm. And again, just feel how your arms and shoulder area are a little bit more open. And then stretch up, palms together. Swan dive forward, pivot at the hips, and then drop again into ragdoll. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins. Knees straight, elbows straight, back straight. Stretch it all out. And then exhale, drop down. Palms together. Inhale, slowly work your way back. Hands to your heart. Keep looking at them as you bring them up. And extend. Lift your heart toward your hands and then pull your thumbs further back, still lifting your heart. And then again, exhaling, hands to your heart. And again, pivoting over, exhaling, dropping down into your body. Hands up on your shins, do that flattening halfway up stretch, chin toward your chest a little bit, sitting bones and crown stretch apart. And exhale back and your Thumbs together as you inhale, and again, hands to your heart, and release into that pose. Take a moment, feeling that stretch through your spine as you reach your head toward the ceiling. And then reach again up, pivot over, and let's go all the way to the floor. So come on down into child's pose for our transition. Hips to your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. Knees together for that good low back stretch or a part to breathe more easily. 
Take a breath. Just relax. And then inhaling, come on up into staff position. So legs out in front, press out through your heels, pull your toes back, knees and toes up toward the ceiling, sitting bones a little bit back, remember, so that you've got that good support and your spine nice and straight, just like in mountain pose. Ribs in and up for core support and crown to the ceiling. So just take a moment, feel all that energy in your body. And we'll work the hips a little bit more. So bring one foot to your thigh and let the knee come down. So remember, you want those sitting bones slightly back. So you can put some padding there if you need to. Or you can bring this front leg over to the side. But knee and toes still up to open that pelvis a little bit more to work that hip rotator a little bit more open. So just relax as that knee comes toward the floor. You can put your hand there, but you don't have to press. And remember, relax the muscles. They'll stretch more easily and release more easily if you relax. Don't tighten or they'll just resist. And then foot up into your hands and wrap your arms around. Don't work back and forth, letting that go to the outside of your hip get the lubrication. Take a moment and if that feels good, you can lift your foot higher or closer, making it more intense, but don't if that feels like it's not right for you. And then release that leg back into staff position and notice the difference because remember, noticing is what yoga is, not just going through the motions. And bring the other foot. And again, let that knee come down with the leg to the front or bring the leg over to the side a little bit more. Your choice. Get those sitting bones nicely back so that pelvis opens up a little bit more. And don't forget, just relax the muscles. Let them deepen into that opening. Or just relax. And then foot up into your hand or arms and work it back and forth getting that nice lubrication through the outside of your hip. And as that gets a little easier, those of you who love it will lift higher or closer or don't, your choice. And then releasing that, bring the leg back out in front. Take a moment, just feeling a little bit more through the hips. And let's separate the feet and do our core support. So sitting bones a little bit back, remember always. And then bending the knees, bringing the heels in so the feet are flat with the knees straight up. So a little roll in at the top of the thighs to make sure those knees don't spread apart. They shouldn't come together either. Hands, palms up just to keep your shoulders down. Remember, ribs in and up, core support in. And then just lean a little bit so that you're still on your sitting bones, not rolling back onto your sacrum. This is too far, and you're going onto that back. You just want to be using the core for support and letting those knees be straight up. And then bring one foot up a little or more, or straighten it out so that the thighs are parallel. Your choice. If that hip flexor top of the thigh area is working hard, and you don't like it, you can lower the leg if it's straight, or you can keep the knee bent. Either way is a little bit easier. It feels core support you. And then when it vibrates, or if you've had enough, put your foot down. And of course, you can sit up and take a break, or you can stay there with your back nice and straight, and that core supporting you as we get ready to do the other side. So again, make sure your knees are straight up, your sitting bones are connected, not the back of your body. And your core is activated as you lean just slightly back, keeping your shoulders down. Bring the other foot up a little or more or all the way up, your choice. And remember, you can lower that leg or leave it where it is. Spread the toes, just go as far as your body wants. And as it starts getting like working, then you can put your foot down and take a break or not your choice. So take a moment there, feel your body, and we'll do both feet together. 
it's harder. So remember, you don't have to go any further than just barely into the position. Core active, spine straight, shoulders down, hands, palms up. Being just slightly back, staying on your sitting bones and lift your feet a little or more or straight or hold your toes, which gets it out of those hip flexors a little bit more and lets you just use your core and your legs. So maximize or minimize, remember personal practice, whatever your body is willing to do. And when you're ready to release, lower the legs slowly, sit up and relax. We'll just take a moment there, breathing, feeling your body and noticing what was working. And then bringing the bottoms of your feet together, knees out to the side, coming into butterfly, kind of push those sitting bones behind you again as you clasp your feet and pull the heels in, knees out to the sides, as far as they want to go. And again, just allow that inner thigh area to relax a little bit. Lift your crown, lift your heart, and keep those shoulder blades down. You just feel the whole front of your body nice and open. And then bring your hands behind you one at a time. And press fingertips or palms down under your shoulders. And then lift your heart a little bit higher. And rotate the bottoms of your feet toward the ceiling. Letting that inner thigh release. And maybe the knees come down a little further toward the sides. Heart opening across the chest as you look slightly up. Keep the base of your skull stretching up and out so the neck isn't crunching a lot. And oh yeah, don't forget to breathe. So just maximize that nice heart opening. Feel your whole body just relaxing. And then chin to your chest a little bit more and hands to your feet. Lift your knees and bring your legs straight out in front. Then we're going to go up on our knees. So if you've got a pillow or a cushion or your mat, you can get some padding under your knees. And we're going to have the knees under your hips and the feet straight back or a little bit toward each other for a little bit more stability. We're going to do a heart opener called supported camel. So get the heels of your palms right at your bottom shoulder blades and back. And then bring your elbows toward each other. So if your elbows are way out to the side, bring them together. You'll feel that heart open a little bit more. And just press your whole hand into your lower back. So the fingertips are down toward your hips. And the heels of the palms are at your shoulder blade. And then you're looking up overhead and lifting your heart. Stretch your head straight back. And keep your head about over your feet as you go into that back bend or higher if you don't want to go too far. So remember, upper body as the focus for the back bend. Really lift that chest heart area up and slightly forward. And keep your hips right above your ankles as you're in that supported camel version. And then bring your chin toward your chest. And release your hips back toward your heels, hands releasing and coming over into child's pose. So when we do a back bend, we usually do a forward bend afterwards to counteract. So just let your whole body relax down into that forward bend of child's pose. Take a moment there, just opening and relaxing. And then bring your hands out in front and pivot up, coming out to your hands and knees. And then we're going to bring the right elbow down, sliding your right hand forward. Actually, bring both hands forward. So you're on your elbows and knees, elbows right under your shoulders. And then take your left hand behind your right elbow. So you're making like a half a square with your arms on the floor. And then we're going to slide the right hand way forward and drop your hips back toward your heels. So the shoulder area is opening up. 
And then exhale, bring your chest down toward the floor, tuck your forehead toward your arm, your left arm, or toward the floor, and just deepen that sinking through your shoulders, opening that heart shoulder area a little bit more. Hips back toward your heels, hand planted right in front of your shoulder. Exhale, just deepen shoulder coming down. And then inhale, your head up. Bring your elbow back under your shoulder and pivot your left arm out. Feel the difference in your shoulders. And we're going to, of course, balance the body and do the same thing to the other side. So bring your right hand behind your elbow, that half square with your forearms. Hips back as you slide the left hand forward, plant the palm. Really let that shoulder and arm hips sink down as those hips sink back. And then exhale, forehead down toward your arm or further down toward the floor, your choice. And remember, just keep relaxing through that whole shoulder area and across your heart. Deepen down toward the floor as much as little as your body wants. And then inhale, come on with your face up, slide the elbow back, left elbow under your shoulder, and right hand forward. And again, as you get back into elbows and knees position, just feel the two shoulders, and we're going to even things out and work them both. So hips back, slide both hands forward, and bring your head down toward the floor in wisdom pose. So forehead coming down, chin tucked in, plant your palms, let your shoulder, shoulder and armpits sink and keep your hips pushing back toward your heels. Take a breath, just deepen and relax. Forehead to the floor. And then inhaling, lift your head, slide your hands back under your shoulders, coming into table. And then sink your hips back, hands, palms up at your sides, and forehead down into child's pose. And then inhale, sit up, and bring your legs out in front into staff position. And again, using that core for support. Just roll all the way onto your back so that we can do our twist. So just get reclined integration, connecting down into that surface beneath you. And bring your hands out to T position, palms up or down. You put your palms down, the shoulders stay a little bit more stable and connected to the floor. Sitting bones toward your heels. Bend both knees, bring the heels in near your hips. Options here, we're going to do the cross leg twist if you want a little bit more. But if you want to be gentle, just leave your knees right next to each other. So cross your leg one over the other if you want to do the cross leg version. And then we're going to bring the feet up off the floor. So both feet together or cross leg either way. So knee right about the hips. Hands, palms up or down, and then roll the knees straight over toward the side as you turn your head toward that opposite arm. So just deepen into your twist, letting the knees come down toward the floor for that lower back. Keep the shoulders and shoulder blades down, middle back twist, and head turning toward whatever's behind you, upper back twist. So take a breath. Again, just exhaling and deepening into your twist, however far you want to go. Exhale, relax. And then when you're ready to release, the heels come towards your hips, roll onto your back. If your legs are crossed, then cross them. You can bring both feet to the floor and straighten things out if you need to before we do the other side. And of course, we're going to balance the body with our twist going the other way. Sitting by slightly toward your heels, connecting your back down. Heels right next to your sitting bones. And cross the leg if that's your option today. Lift your foot off the floor, knees above the hips, and then rolling knees straight over to the left side as you turn your head toward the opposite arm. 
And again, deepen as much as you'd like, keeping those shoulders and shoulder blades on the floor, head turning as much as your upper neck and shoulder like, and me coming as far toward the floor as your lower back is willing to go. Take a breath, just exhale and relax, because remember it's a personal practice only doing what's right for your body's twist. And then as you're ready to release, as you exhale, pull the heels in and roll onto your back. Uncross if you were crossed with the knee and feet to the floor. Just feel that circulation through your spine as you get ready for that meditative connection into corpse pose. So legs out, hands, palms up away from your side, shoulders and shoulder blades jam. Chin tucked slightly toward your chest. Let the back of your neck relax with that natural curve. Take a moment to breathe and just let your whole body sink into that surface beneath you. Just softening and relaxing everything in your body. And know that we worked everything from your shoulders, your hips, your core, legs relaxing. Just let your whole body soften and sink. Let your belly move as you breathe, filling the lungs, exhaling tension. And as your body grows heavier, just let it sink deep into your earth embrace, letting everything go. And as your body relaxes and deepens into that earth connection, just let awareness of your body release. You don't need to think about your body at all. Just let it relax. And as your body relaxes without attention, just allow your mind to release thoughts of your body and to release any other thoughts that come to you. Remember always, it's the job of your mind to keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, there's no need to remember the past. There's no need to anticipate the future. You can let those thoughts just drift away as easily as your breath. Thoughts and breath flow in and out without attention. Just allowing your body to sink and your mind to float. Just know that your awareness can release both your body and your mind and focus only on the peace within. Find that peace point. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Just allow your whole being to be peace. And if you can keep relaxing even longer, feel free to stay relaxed for as long as it's comfortable. It's time for you to prepare for the rest of your day. Just begin breathing more deeply, 
drawing energy and awareness back to the moment, to the body, stretching a little bit as you become ready to do so. Move your hands and your feet, your fingers and toes, arms and legs, however feels right for you. Just getting a good stretch through your body. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, just slide your sitting bones towards your heels, draw your heels in towards your hips and your knees up toward your heart as much as they want to go. Wrap your arms around your legs or your body. Give yourself an appreciative hug, letting your body know you appreciate its work in yoga today and the work your body does for you every day. And bringing your feet to the floor, we'll roll over to the side and sit back up when you're ready to get ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.